No one's asking to ban masks on kids. This is mask choice. Parents speaking out tonight on masks in the classroom as some students head back to school tomorrow morning. Good evening. I'm Kathleen Bade. A series of protests kicked off today calling for everyone to have the choice whether they want to wear a mask or not once the school year begins. This is just one of the stories we are covering tonight as COVID-19 cases continue to rise. From border restrictions to the vaccine push at the White House, we have team coverage tonight. And we begin with Fox 5's Kasha Gregorczyk live in Oceanside with the school board's stance on masks in the classroom. Kasha. Well, Kathleen, Oceanside Unified is planning for a full capacity, full schedule return to campus next month. And despite parents rallying here for mask choice this evening, the district did announce it will be falling in line with state guidance on masks in schools. We take the director from the county health department and uh, from Dr. Wilma Wooten. Um, the, the statement on this is that the guidance is clear. Everyone in the K-12 setting is expected to wear masks indoors regardless of vaccination and enforcing the mandate is not optional. The California Department of Public Health has given its recommendation on masks for the following school year, and it has stated enforcement will be up to individual districts. The Oceanside Unified Superintendent's statement was not what parents rallying for mask choice Tuesday evening were hoping to hear. No one's asking to ban masks on kids. This is mask choice. So if a parent or child wants to wear a mask, absolutely they can. But to force other children to wear a mask when it's not good for them mentally. It's just it's not right. Many parents countywide have joined the movement through the advocacy group Let Them Breathe. Founder Sharon McKeeman says it's non-religious and non-partisan with no stance on vaccines, just the freedom to choose. We understand you're all in a difficult position and that's why we are advocating to the state. We are taking action to hopefully get rid of that state mandate. However, you have a responsibility in the meantime. These are our children and you have a responsibility. While Oceanside plans to follow the state's guidance, parents are hoping an upcoming legal battle will overturn the current mask mandate for schools in California. We're going to keep pushing. There's no other way to. We're not going to stop. And tomorrow evening, there will be another rally ahead of the Carlsbad Unified School District Board meeting. They are one of the school districts, along with Poway and Vista, that have written a letter to state officials asking that at least vaccinated individuals could have the choice of whether to wear a mask or not when the school year begins. And certainly this is something we'll be hearing more of in the coming days and weeks. Reporting live in Oceanside tonight, Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. We certainly will be hearing more about it. Kasha, thank you.